has arrived. We really need to leave tomorrow morning to make it to D.C. in time. No way. What's up? We we're sitting there stuffing our face with pizza right when Steve, our trainer, walked in. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be on our diet. Just wanted to make sure that this does not get packed on the truck. I'm really going to miss having Josh and Anna and the kids around. I mean, they've always said, we know this is going to happen. We're going to be bridging out. We're going to have kids moving away. But now it's like coming down to the reality of it. And it's hard. Our help has arrived. The moving team. Yeah, wow. Well. I am so thankful that Joshua has a large family that's willing to help us move out of our house. We need all the hands we can get. Well, I guess y'all are wondering why I called this meeting. Yeah. <laughs> See the trucks out in the front there? I'm supposed to report to work in a few days, so we really need to leave tomorrow morning to make it to D.C. in time. You, you probably don't have any ideas. It, looks like. We don't have much time to get Josh and Anna packed up, but hopefully with 20 Duggars, we'll get them packed up quickly. We're going to try to pack everything, then we'll load everything on the truck. Everybody got it? I have one question. What's for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> I have a few loose pots over here. Hey, it's a picture of me. Been in here. Yeah. Fit the family in the box there. I'm really grateful that all of my family came over to help us move, but it is kind of crowded. I mean, it's a really small house. Sorry. Sorry. Based on the house we've chosen in D.C., I think we're, we're moving up. <laughs> in more ways than one. Let's gather the toys. <laughs> I've talked a lot with Mackenzie and Michael and I've told them that we're going to put all of our stuff in boxes and we're going to move to a different house and we're not going to live here anymore. I think Mackenzie can grasp it some and is kind of a little prepared for it. Michael. But Michael is really not understanding it. You want the toy? So it's going to be a big change for him. I'm taking the opportunity to get this time with my grandchildren while I can before they move away. It's kind of surreal, really, helping our son pack up and move uh, so far away. It's definitely a new thing for me as a mom. It's hard. Mikey, what's going on? You know, it's really difficult seeing Josh and Ann move away, but I think what's even more difficult is our three grandkids moving away and we want to know them and them to know us oh let's get oh that's got dust on it buddy it's pretty good that we're really going to miss them hey sweetheart i just wanted uh -huh. to make sure that this vibrator does not get packed on the truck just wanted to make sure in the busyness of packing up that we didn't lose marcus's bouncy seat it does not go on the truck yeah, okay. Gotcha. Thank you, sweetheart. Love you, Love dear. You. The little vibrator bouncy seats are like must-haves for a newborn baby. And it's just, when you put them in there, they're happy. They don't have to be held all the time. And they're just a lifesaver. Faster. You can move faster. There we go. Everything's marked. Josh had a label maker. And uh, we were having some fun with that thing. Oh, you've been sticking around people's backs. They have a clue. <laughs> That's the fun of it. Who needs something to do? You had this on you. Uh huh. Who put that there? Were you involved in something? <laughs> no. Not the joy. No, I did not start that. Not me. No, not me. Promise me you put kick me on Jim's back. 